Okay, technicians, I want to talk to you about a relatively new lead set known as a COP1. You can see this as a paddle type. Now, the objective here is that, especially on ignition type related misfires, all we have to do is lay this paddle into this probe on the top of a COP coil, and you'll get a non good secondary ignition waveform. And it'll be nice and stable for you, and you can read again lean density misfires, rich conditions, low cylinder compression, high secondary KV demand. Uh, fixed high secondary resistance. Now what we've done in this case, we've taken a COP1 on this Ford Explorer and laid it right on top of the coil. And if you look at my scope pattern right now, you probably already know that the late model Ford DIS and COP ignition systems fire the coils multiple times below 1,000 RPM, anywhere between two and, two and three times, again, per coil, per cylinder, below 1,000 RPM. So if you look up my scan tool right now, or my scope, excuse me, you can see this Ford Explorer, 3.5 liters, firing a spark plug three times. You can see if you just focus on the spark duration period, the first two firing events, the spark duration period is about 0 0.3, 0 0.4 milliseconds. And the fourth and final firing event is nearly a, a full two milliseconds. So, you know, we're going to show you some case studies to where we had misfire type symptoms and we just went into secondary ignition and we just focused on the spark duration period, as you will see. This is something that I think is, most technicians should need, a COP1. Now, this COP1 works additionally well on DIS type ignition systems where you lay the tip of the wand right next to the plug wire. In addition, like on GM coil nerve plug systems where you have the short eight and a half inch long secondary lead that runs from the coil down the spark plug, you lay this right next to that secondary lead and you will get a, a, a good stable secondary ignition waveform. For diagnostic purposes, I think this is the quickest way to go if you have a misfire type symptom.